In an earlier tutorial, we looked at how to create the form-based question, and then we looked at how to convert a form-based question uh, using slide view to create a more custom environment. Now what we're going to do is do something similar uh, in terms of the question type, but we're actually going to create a free-form question. So what's nice about the free-form question is you can put anything on the screen and convert that into a question. So let's go ahead and do insert, and we're going to insert a free-form question. So I can choose, you can see I can choose from a number of options. I'm going to choose the drag and drop. And now what I have is a blank slide. And so what it's waiting for is me to put content on there. So let's go ahead and put these uh, fruit on it. So I'm going to go ahead and insert pictures. We'll choose the apple, banana, and orange. I'll bring those back in here. Uh, I'm going to select these all three and scale them down. So we've got my fruit here. So right now these are just shapes on a screen. Probably want to put some instructions on there so I can um, put the instructions. Um, select the red fruit and drop in the, the box. Um, we'll put a box on the screen. So I've got my question on here. Uh, I can customize this. Let's just go ahead and we'll go with the, this cartoony looking font. And so I've got my fruit here and let's just put a box up here in the corner. So let me move this down a little and uh, we can move this over. And let's say we want to put a fruit box in here. So I'm going to go to the shapes tool. We have a little box. And so um, we'll just call this our fruit box. Um, let's, we'll make it brown. Uh, just so it looks different here and we'll do no outline. Okay, so we've got our fruit box and we've got our fruit and right now this is all basically just an object on the screen. These are objects on a screen. Now this is the, where the magic happens. So we're going to go to form view because we created a free form question. It's going to be structured a little bit different. So we go to form view and you can see what it's going to do is allow me to choose what I want to make draggable in this column. I want to put all my drag items. And then where do those need to go? So in this case, we want to make all the fruit draggable. So we've got the three fruit. And then we want the apple to actually be able to drop or the correct drop target for the apple is going to be the box. So let's go ahead and choose our drag objects. So we have our apple, our banana, and orange. And then the drop target for the apple is going to be the box. Uh, the other ones just don't have one. And you can see there's other options here, but we're just going to stick with the uh, default. And let's go ahead and uh, preview this and see what we have. So we took what was essentially just content on the screen, and now we've made it into draggable objects. And so now I've got my feedback here. Um, so the, again, the way that works is if we go to slide view, you put content on the screen, you go to form view. In this case, uh, we're going to uh, do a drag and drop. So we have to have something that drags and then we have to have a place to drop it. In this case, the drop target is going to be for the Apple only. And then you can customize the feedback and do some other things there. Um, and you're not limited to drag and drop. Let's go ahead and create one more quiz question. So we'll insert another free form question. We're going to do the same one, but we're going to do it as a pick one. So we're going to do pick one, which is kind of be kind of like a multiple choice uh, quiz question. Same thing. We want to insert our pictures. So we will uh, grab our pictures here. Let me select them all and then I'll scale them down. And I can just spread these across the screen. And let's assume we have our instructions, which is to pick the red object on the screen. So I go to form view. So I again, these are just objects on the screen. So I have to determine which ones are going to be choices. So I'm going to choose all of the images. And then I'll make the apple the correct image. And again, I could customize the feedback if I want to. Now, if we preview this, you'll notice what happened was these again were just shapes, but now they're selectable shapes. And you can see um, that it even draws the selection uh, boxes for me. So it gives me little highlights to let me know what I'm selecting. And then I hit 
submit and I can get my feedback. So a lot of neat things you can do with that. Again, the, the cool part about all of that is you have a blank screen. You create a free form question. You can put content on the screen and then based on the type of question you create, uh, you can customize that. So a lot of really neat things that you can do with that.